Hello YouTubers, Rogue Monkey Jr. here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the line of sight custom game mode that is now uh, out in Battlefield 1. It has replaced the Fog of War game mode, and we're just going to talk about like uh, what it is in general and all that, and if it's actually fun or not. So the first thing that I want to point out is that the line of sight game mode is a great idea. It's, the concept is great. You can basically only play medic or uh, scout. You can't have explosives or stuff like that, so it's only pretty much uh, rifles and pistols. Um, and it's the hardcore damage model, but in the softcore setting. So basically you have the hardcore damage model, but you have uh, hit markers, you have hip fire reticles, and minimap, and all that stuff, spotting, and all that stuff. So basically, they only brought that hardcore damage model into uh, the game mode, and you also can't regenerate health. So basically that's pretty much what changes from softcore, and the fact that you can only play uh, medic and scout. Now, like I said, the concept is great and everything, uh, but the uh, delivery is and the execution is just fucking terrible. Uh, so I played on Suez Canal. Uh, it was rush game mode, so it, it's it's fine. It's a I mean it plays okay, but it's a 26 second spawn timer. I felt like the the most of the time I was in the game, I was in the, looking at the spawn screen, not being able to spawn because the fucking timer's so long. I get why they did this to make it a little bit more tactical and stuff like that, but it's basically just a bunch of people not playing the objective because they don't want to die, because the fucking spawn timer's so goddamn long that they don't feel like they're on the battlefield at all. So that's something that they could have maybe just kept regular, the regular like I think it's 10 second spawn timer because 26 seconds is really long to stay in the spawn screen if you don't have any fucking medics reviving you. So that was kind of boring and also I don't know what they're doing for promoting the custom game modes that they're coming out with but there's just not that many players playing it. For the first part of the game you're seeing above we were only 10 players or 11 players all together so 6 on one side and 5 on the other which is kind of boring. So it wasn't really like action packed there wasn't much happening it was mostly people camping and like trying not to die uh, because again the spawn timer is so long uh, so people you know were, were like hanging back like i i get i get what they wanted to, to achieve here but it's just not all that enjoyable had they delivered it in a different a different way maybe it would have been better but um i mean it's i can't see myself playing more than like the round that i played of this I've, I had enough. I was just bored out of my mind. I was sitting in my chair when I was dead. I was like, well then, I guess we're just gonna have to wait a whole fucking millennium to just spawn and try and get back in the action. And then when you finally did spawn, uh, there were spawn campers, of course. So you'd probably just get your bl your brains blown to shit. So, I mean, it could have been fun. It could have been a great game mode, and it, it, but I, I think people aren't playing it because it's just not all that enjoyable. Um... I don't mean to complain about like what DICE are trying to do here, I mean, I, I get that they're trying to make custom game modes, but they could just think about these things before actually putting them in the game mode. Because, I mean, it sucks for them because their game mode is not being played all that much. I couldn't even find a server with people in it uh, for the America servers. I had to go in Europe servers just because there was like n all the servers were empty in uh, America so there was nothing I could do I had to play in Europe servers I had a high ping but what do you want I wanted to try the game mode and see what it was all about I think Fog of War got a lot more uh, attention than Line of Sight uh, because it was all together more enjoyable than this one but uh, if they can fix like I mean they're gonna work on custom game modes over time and they're probably gonna get better well I hope they're gonna get better and not degrade like Fog of War was good Line of sight, not so much, and if it gets worse than that, then, you know, that they're not going to get much done with custom game modes, and not many people are going to participate in these things. But custom game modes, I mean, they are, they are a good idea to keep uh, the the player base alive, and people coming back to see, like, oh, what's new on Battlefield this week? Oh, this, this custom game mode's here. Oh, cool, I guess I'll try that or whatever. But if they're not enjoyable, I mean, it's just defeating the purpose of making custom game modes, and it's pretty much just, like, throwing money out the window, because it, it costs money to actually, do, like, make these game modes uh, happen. I mean, I'll Although it might not be a lot of money, it still costs money for the developers and all that stuff. So uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys tried the line of sight, if you enjoyed it. Um, as I said, I don't mean to bash DICE or anything like that, what they're doing. But they could have just made it a little bit better. I, I, I love the concept of line of sight, but it's just that a few things that they made in line of sight make it so that it's just a little bit boring for me. Uh, so yeah. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.